Where I lived was a very quiet, kind of posh area. There was only myself as a child. But I managed. I used to make up games. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, one potato, three potato, four. If you sat around in a circle, one of the people would stand up and then go round and they'd like pat your head and go duck, 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 duck. And then when they eventually got to say goose, mm -hmm. the person sitting on the floor had to stand up as fast as they can, try and run and catch the person. Duck, 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 goose. Postman's knock, the excitement when trying to remember his number. You remember this, when I grew up, it was wartime, so we spent a lot of time on bomb sites, you know. Although the kids wouldn't know about this, but uh, I'm pleased to say. Dad used to take me out on the bike and um, he used to hold the back of the seat. Well, as soon as he let go, I'd fall off. And it took me an awful long time to learn how to ride it. <laughs> used to play hide and seek. My big brothers, stepbrothers, could get onto the roof and hide over there. So if we played hide and seek, we, we could never find them. Hide and seek, run, 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 hide, and no one comes. And in the end, if people were hiding and we couldn't find them, they used to get fed up and come out anyway, especially my sister. Hide and seek. There's always the one person who cheats. Bows and arrows. Duck is coming my way. It's surprising how far they went and how accurate you could become with them. You know, we're proper Robin Hoods in them days. There was a railway bridge over our avenue and what... Norma and I used to do. We used to collect stones and play shops, some with money, some with sugar, sweets and all sorts of things. One was a shopkeeper and the other was the customer. So she used to make us some little bags and uh, we used to have raisins and rice and any other small um, cake decoration. Gold one side, gold the other side, and that's kicking the ball in the middle of the road. And our mum came out and told us off, uh, we got soaking wet. So the next time we, it started to rain, everybody took their clothes off. We played in this football in the nude. Yeah, in the nude. Belting down, we was all running around, kicking the football out. We didn't get our clothes away. I suppose that was naughty, really, but it was practical. That was our way of getting through it. All in the net again. Oops, I missed the ball. What did I hit then? <laughs> Playing post office. Opened up. Waited, waited, no people, shut up shop. China doll, which had a lovely face and blonde curls, and I dropped it on the bricks and the face cracked. I was at the top of the stairs with my baby Annabelle. I dropped it, it fell down the stairs, and then the head was not attached to the body. When I was younger, I found a little red doll in my bedroom. Um, I took it out of the box and... I heard a, da a loud noise downstairs, so my arm swung sideways and it let go of the doll. So the doll flew across the room and hit the wall and its head came off. The dolls I had were mainly which I had for birthdays and Christmas and I used to really cherish them and look after them well. But I had these naughty brothers of mine who would hide them up and not give them back to me for some time and about a few weeks later I'd find something tucked under a shelf or something or the other. And who did that? And they'd just grin and just laugh about it. Twister, my arm, your leg tangled like a knot. Twister, me and my sister would play this. Everyone used to fall down. Twister. Twister, tangled like a knot, my arm, your leg. Snakes and ladders, going down the snake again. Snakes and ladders, you go up the ladders as you go down the snake. Up the ladders and swallowed by the green snake. Played dominoes with my dad. I've still got his dominoes and they're ivory with black dots on them. Ludo and um, cards. And we play cards. Ludo, snakes and ladders. We played a lot of cards, especially after dinner, mm -hmm. after Christmas dinner and things like that. We played cards. Yes. Even at a young age, you were, you were dragged in to join the party. Happy families. I love all their faces. We used to play um, Newmarket mainly, which was two packs. I don't think I could remember to do it now, but what we do, I do remember the gas lamps because she never had electricity. I was at home one morning. It was kept in a box in a cupboard. She was a china doll. I stood on it. I didn't really like it anyway. It sort of scared me.
the china doll I didn't like, so I hid it in the metal box at the back of the cupboard. We played in the woods a lot, didn't we? Made um, dens. We, and... Yes. Any branches that were laying about, we used to sort of, you know, make the dens. My favourite place of play. I would love to be under the table, be in the troll, catching Billy Goat Gruff if I'm able, or in a cave or animal lair. I'd jump out and give you a scare. We played in the fields, we played in the woods. We let our imagination go as only children could. Our hearts full of fun, we played till the day was done. Till hunger brought us home, no more that day to roam. We played in the rain, we played in the sun. We played for hours until the day was nearly done. We didn't fight, it wasn't right. Dirty and scruffy, we came home. To hear our parents moan, What have you been up to? They would say, Nothing much, only play. We had a dead end street, so not many cars came up and down. Not that there was a lot of cars back in the 50s. And we used to be able to play there quite contentedly with marbles, skipping, hopscotch, make-up plays. We had a dillic playground, really. Musical statues. Musical statues. Knee to sneeze. The statues danced until the music stopped. 